Bluegrass is growing popular by the days, you know, and uh, we love the music and have played it all of our lives and uh, been around uh, where other people has played it. And we decided that we had the most beautiful air that uh, you could want, and this is how we got started. Bluegrass music is all about the instrumentation. You know, it's about the acoustics. The banjo, the mandolin, you know, the acoustic guitar. It's, you know, it kind of, and it also kind of focuses more on the, the vocals and the, the harmonies. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I guess some people call it a good homegrown music. My father uh, has played music all his life, um, and uh, that's something. Then my brother got involved with it, and um, it's just something they, uh, you know, just love doing. It's just something, and they're, it's in the blood. It's in the blood. You tell me there are more fish in the sea. Well, if it ain't what it used to be, and I've got news for you. It's just a real friendly place. They're very welcoming and enthusiastic towards all bluegrassers and pickers and, and performers alike. And it's it's family friendly. That's that's one of the things I like here. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of the same people at these places, and uh, you know it's fun. I mean, the best part of these kind of festivals is the, uh, the time away from the stage, and the, I mean, although the music's great here, you know, it's uh, the fun is late at night picking and uh, just meeting a lot of different people, a lot of musicians, and a lot of new tunes, and people who are writing songs, and um, it's, it's great. I mean, you just can't can't beat that. One of the things about this music, the people, most of the people who come are the salt of the earth Americans. That's all I can say. You can go talk to any of them. Most people leave their campers open. They're just the kind of people that you want to be around, and we like to have them around. It's the camaraderie. That is, that's it. As I read the 